Welcome back. Tonight, Golden Valley High School will hold the first of several graduation ceremonies across Kern County. 17's Taylor Schaub has more. After COVID-19 ended his school year prematurely, Riley Dickey never thought this moment would happen. But fast forward four months, and he's finally getting that send-off that he always imagined. Last month, we introduced you to Riley Dickey, who at the age of three lost his five-year-old brother Wyatt during a fire at their family home. That was one of the hardest things to have ever gone through in my whole life. Riley dedicated his football years at Golden Valley High to the memory of Wyatt. His biggest goal, honor his brother while playing in the Army Bowl. But because of COVID-19, that game was canceled, along with the rest of his senior year. And just when it felt like all was lost, one major milestone returned, graduation. After being told that, just the widest smile across my face happened. Riley's mother, Dawn. It's a very special moment. But the ceremonies are gonna look a little different this year. Tonight, attendees will be asked to wear facial coverings. Seats will be staggered to ensure social distancing and a strict two guest limit will be enforced. So how that's gonna work is the graduate and two guests will be sitting on the football field together and they'll be safely social distanced from other groups on the field. The Kern County High School District is also asking people over the age of 65 to stay home, meaning Riley's great grandma won't get to witness this special moment. My grandma and grandma great, uh, you know, they've been like just an amazing part of my life that have always been there for me. So not being able to have them there in person are two of the most important people that, I, that I'll miss having there. So while this year's graduation may lack some of the pomp and circumstance, Riley and Don remain thankful, calling it the best moment since this COVID era consumed their lives. They didn't let this virus thing get them down. They still pushed forward. It's obviously not ideal that we don't get to have it exactly how everybody pictured it. But I think that's just one thing that'll it'll, it'll make it even that much more special that we get to have it anyway. Tonight's send off, along with every other school in the district, will be streamed live on kernhigh.org. In Southwest Bakersfield, Taylor Schaub, 17 News.